Louisiana Democratic Chair Karen Carter Peterson believes opposition to Obamacare isn't about principle, but pigment. She asks, why do people hate it so much? Why is that? I have talked to so many members, both in the House and the Senate, and you know what? You ready? You ready what it comes down to? It's not about how many federal dollars we can receive. It's not about that. You ready? It's about race. No, nobody wants to talk about that. It's about the race of this African-American president. Oh, my God. Yes, nobody wants to talk about that. I'd like to know what rock Karen has been sleeping under for the last six years. Race is the only thing the left talks about. Have you seen MSNBC? Nah, neither has the rest of the country. But anyway, every criticism of big go government always comes down to they must be racist. But that's the easiest way to avoid confronting the failures of your own ideology. And that avoidance allows your failures to fester, which is why things now are dire. Fact is, President Obama isn't facing opposition because of race. It's incompetence. Mind you, if it were race, Peterson should explain how, despite Americans hating Obamacare, they still like Obama. He won two races. And you'll need to explain the outrage toward the IRS. Stephen Miller and Mr. Shulman, they aren't black. These cries of racism are as flimsy as Hillary's poll numbers, which are dropping fast. Some blame Benghazi, but I bet Peterson has another reason. Hillary's black. Oops, sorry, that, that's just a reflex. I mean, she's a woman. The fact is, as your worldview crumbles, the only way to avoid reality is an excuse that smears your critics for their skepticism. You hate him because he's black, or her because she's a lady. It's a scam that reveals an intellectual emptiness as well as a vicious streak that lets you damage reputations just to save your own skin. And if you disagree with me, it's probably because I'm short. <laughs> but that's true. You know, Kimberly, it's that kind of hate crime. She just said it's true that I'm short. <laughs> See, you know what? Short people are the last people are allowed to be persecuted in this world. Right, yeah, Dana? That's right. You, in the sexual orientation, you can't do that yeah, anymore. Yeah. But short people, yeah. definitely. Well, a people fat are people. Heels. That, yeah. You know, obese people. Large people, Dana. Yeah, you make me sick. You By wear, the way, she's shorter than me. You lifts in your shoes or something. I would never do lifts. That's dishonest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Speaking Cheating. of dishonest, can I read her comment after uh, she said this? Uh, she said, to be clear, uh, I didn't call anybody racist. Rather, I was simply relaying the truth about conversations I've had with my colleagues and the factors they considered on the expansion of Medicaid. So, Eric, she wasn't calling anyone racist. Just the people she was talking to. Yeah. And she was just relaying it to everybody else. Yeah, we're, we're all racist because we don't want to spend $1.1 trillion we don't have. And we don't want to be told um, that we have to buy something that we that's unconstitutional, even though the Supreme Court may disagree. I don't disagree. I disagree with the, with the premise. It has nothing to do with race. It has right. absolutely you agree, nothing. Bob? It's one sixth of the economy. We're broke. It's going to bury the economy worse. That's I, what it's about. I, I no, I don't agree with that, but I would do agree with this, and that is that most of the recipients who will get Medicaid are in minority organizations. In minority That's groups. not what she but said. The correlation though. is I not causing. That. Her, her I point is who's going to get Eric, Obamacare. The point is but we're against it because, entire, because Obama's you're black. You're judging an entire program before it even gets off the ground. And I think you ought to give this a chance. Chance in Massachusetts, which closely oh. uh, that was Romney care. Okay, fine. I don't care if it was. Did, did it, you see the headline care. today? Did you see the headline on Drudge Day for most of the day? Uh, California. I don't watch Drudge. Cal, Cal, Drudge. <laughs> California uh, rates will go up for young people under 40 up to 143 percent as soon as Obamacare kicks in. Up says who? Uh, health insurance uh, premiums. Oh, uh huh. Says who? Uh, the California, uh, oh, Forbes magazine, I'm sorry, it's Forbes, yeah, Forbes okay, magazine. There you go. Dana, I'd like you to step in here and have something intelligent to say. Okay, this is what I think. I when I'm I hear that, what bothers me is that actually my opposition to Obamacare is based on experience, having lived in the UK, mm -hmm. and, and seeing uh, and believing that America could do better, that competition actually helps more minority communities be able to have control over their decisions, better access. The Republicans had already agreed on the pre-existing condition piece. They agreed on the child until you're 26, living in your parents' basement piece. They had done almost everything. The only thing that they would not did not want to do was the socialized medicine piece. They wanted competition. And I actually think that, unfortunately for her, what they're looking for is for the money. They're, the fight is over getting more federal dollars into Louisiana to pay mm -hmm. for Medicaid um, and for Obamacare. It, has, it doesn't have to do with race. It has yeah. to do with the belief that, you could, that we actually could do better from a policy perspective. Do you think, do you think that these insurance companies would go into a black community and actually get competitive? 
Yeah. The, the free markets Hard work wherever it. they go. That's the thing. And yep. this is what I want to bring Kimberly into this. Please. The thing that's really disturbing about this is the fact that if you believe in free markets, mm. that's racist. When in fact, you could argue the opposite, that you believe dependence in big government right. is what the answer is, means that you don't believe people but, can succeed. Well, because didn't you get the memo for the new America? Winning and dodgeball are bad. Did you? You know, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, you get penalized for trying to create wealth for your family, uh, to leave to your children, to try and be an entrepreneur. I mean, this is exactly against all the free market Ray, principles. Ray, and Obamacare, why are we rewarding failure and giving the government this kind of uh, undertaking Ray, and the IRS? Greg, the free market was taking the healthcare industry in this country over the hill and into the ditch. When? And when it was going to hell in a handbasket. When did Ray, we have it? Up. I'm, I'm, did I miss something? When did this all? Uh, it, 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 what the free? We had free market uh, medicine in the in the nineties. No, in the eighties. No. What, what you, excuse me. We did not have free market. In, He's making in the an 90s? attack on the free market in general in every. Uh, no, in insurance companies. Let me, I think that's the most elusive, disgraceful industry. Well, so in this what country. was your example? Except for the IRS. Um, well, can was... I make another prediction? Yes. That as our this experiment fails, continues to fail. Mm -hmm. The excuse for why it is failing will also, guaranteed from the left, it will be because of racism. Yeah. Be, it, when, if you look at the headline mm -hmm. out of the Telegraph today in, in uh, Britain, the NHS, the health service there, is fatally unsafe, and our politicians are doing nothing to change that. They're frustrated with the system because the system doesn't work. We actually have a, we have every reason in the world to, to, to make better policy I, I, and to not have the IRS in, uh, implement this program, we can do. We could do a lot better. It doesn't have anything to do with race. I, 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 don't, I can agree. I agree with you completely that race is not going to be the reason. But the the fact is, you haven't given this opportunity to work. All right. We say that about every social program, and that's why we're in debt. Right. 